Hi, welcome back. Do you have a good weekend?、Mm, I hope you have a very good weekend. Anyway, today, and、uh, let's finish the season one. Season one. Season one. Five minutes Chinese is just the introduction. Introduction means introduction to this language, and in, and it also you learn how to introduce people. Okay, let's first、uh, let us listen、uh, Chinese paragraph. And you can test yourself whether you can follow me. Okay. 你好，我是平，我是中国人。我的妈妈是中国人。我的爸爸也是中国人。我爱书，也喜欢咖啡。茶、可乐、吉他。我的妈妈的妈妈喜欢美国人。我觉得美国很酷。圣诞节快乐。OK， you tell yourself can you follow me or how much you can follow me？ 嗯、mm. ，You may notice I keep looking at this。Board, uh huh. Because all I was just saying is on this board. Now let's do it slower, slower. 你好 we have to learn officially, but every time I said 你好你好 means hello, hello. Chinese people say hello or hi. 你好，我是平 I am 平，我是中国人 I am Chinese. 我的妈妈是中国人。My mom is Chinese. 我的爸爸也是中国人。My dad is also Chinese. 我爱书，也喜欢茶、咖啡、可乐、吉他。I love books. Also, like tea, coffee, coke, and guitar. And guitar. 我的妈妈的妈妈 my mom's mom means my grandma. 喜欢美国人 likes American. 我觉得美国人很酷 Okay. The last sentence. There are two new words we've never learned so far. I will not translate. I will give you to guess. But the last one, the orange, the one in orange, you should know. 圣诞节快乐 Merry Christmas. Hmm. You may notice this is the introduction paragraph. I introduced myself in this paragraph, and I combined. All the new words, all the words we learned in season one, all of them, all of them, uh huh. And also, it it contains, it includes all the grammars we learned in the in season one. So if you can follow me eighty percent, ninety percent about what I'm talking, I was talking about, you're cool, you're very cool. If you cannot follow me completely, don't worry. That's why I, I wrote it here. If you can look at it, it's, oh, I can understand. It's also better than you understand nothing, right?、Mm-hmm. Let's review again. 你好，我是我 Remember season one went 我你他嗯哼、mm-hmm. 是 the magical word. 我是平音 Introduce yourself. 我是中国人中国 We learned China. 中国人 Chinese people. Uh huh. 我的妈妈 here. Remember the grammar I said. That is optional. It totally depends on how you feel. You how how much close you feel this person to you. So 我的妈妈 equal to 我妈妈是中国人。我的爸爸，妈妈，爸爸 ，right? 也是中国人，也 also. Also, but remember, we talk about grammar. We always put a "ye" before verb, before verb. We never put a "ye" at the end of the sentence. 也是中国人，我爱
爱 show love. I love you. Remember the first episode we said, 我爱妈妈，爱 show books, books. 也喜欢，喜欢 to like. After we learned 喜欢 I told you you can express your opinion so easily. I like him. I like books. I don't like that movie. I like that movie. To like, 茶、咖啡、可乐、吉他 We learned this in last episode. They are all from English. They are all from English. So because you can tell the pronunciation, is is not Chinese. It's from English pronunciation. Cha means tea. Cafe, coffee. Cola, Coke. Guitar, guitar, guitar. My mother's mother. Oh, my mother's mother. Okay, the literal meaning is the 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 mother's mother. Okay, the literal Ah,、uh, you have to say 我的书，我的书，不是我的妈妈，就是我妈妈。Here, 我的妈妈的妈妈。Then people will tell me immediately. Oh, that means your grandma on your mom's side. Yes, yes. In Chinese, grandma will be called differently according to the mom's side or the dad's side, or dad's side. And here. Is the one thing I encourage you to learn is when you are when you have no idea about new word, don't just go to look up the dictionary or check online. Let me Google.、Mm -mm. First, use your own Google here. Ask yourself according to my current vocabulary, can I paraphrase it? You know what is paraphrase? Use the same language to explain the same new word. Like you have no idea how to say grandma, right? Because we haven't learned. But according to your current vocabulary, according to what we have learned so far, you have enough vocabulary to explain what you want to say. So you can tell me, "Hey, grandma is 我的妈妈的妈妈 That is perfect, perfect paraphrase. So so far, I mean from today. I encourage all of you try to learn this new skill is called a paraphrase. Paraphrase. It can use your vocabulary so well, and it can prove your explain yourself so well too. 我的妈妈的妈妈喜欢美国人 My grandma likes American. Uh huh. 我觉得美国很酷 First, let's see what we have learned in 我爱 Jueda is new word we haven't learned. This is a new word. Okay, let me see. America, America. We learned this. Hen is another new word. Cool, cool. So cool, so cool. Right? Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. What does it mean? You mean oh, I America cool. Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. In season two. We will figure out what is this very very interesting word. What is this very very useful word? The last word I want to tell you today is this. 圣诞节快乐 This year, this Tuesday or this Wednesday, don't forget to say this to people you say. 圣诞节快乐 Merry Christmas. 再见